Hey everybody, Sky Spider here. Uh, so, just random catch up on life and shit. Um, so, Saturday, uh, instead of working in the bug room, Rachel and I just kind of went on a romantic date together. Fancy restaurant, all, all the fun stuff. Um, so I just put everything off for a day. I figured I'll catch up on Sunday. So Sunday comes around. That's uh, yesterday. Come up here. I get working. I film a couple clips. You'll see them in a second. And you can tell I'm not feeling very well. Um, I was I was feeling horrifically bad and just couldn't pin why. I just thought I was having another like downswing on my health or something. Uh, it gets to the very end of the day. I go to take my meds and get ready for bed. Found out I didn't take my morning meds. I was withdrawing from opiates all day. You know, that, that's reality of my life. Um, so I took the missing dose at bedtime because you're supposed to always take your missing dose. And uh, yeah, if I have too many opioids in my system, I don't sleep. So, and then they're also slow release. So until 6 a.m., I was withdrawing and having the bugs under the skin, twitchy limbs and shit. And, uh, yeah, about 6 a.m. it finally kicked in, and I was officially too buzzed to sleep anymore. So I just laid in bed until Rachel got up at, uh, I don't know, I think about around 1, around one o'clock. Um, tried to lay there for another two hours. I didn't sleep in any of it either. So, yeah, I'm feeling fucking fantastic today. Um, on the plus side, I'm not withdrawing from opioids anymore. Um, so yeah, enough of that bullshit. Uh, we got a lot to do in the room today. I got a lot of catch up to do. Uh, let's just go right into the bugs and start having some fun. interesting today is I just cleaned the outworld on my ants. You can see a cute little new Jurassic Park opening. But I went to go look into the old nest. They are all moved out just about. And then I went to go look in the new nest. And there is the queen. She is indeed over here. That is so cool. And yeah, look at how full this is. So many ants. Oh my god. And hi, Ant Savage. Hope you know we love our scorpions. See how Dummy likes this cricket. Still no sting. I gotta get this girl a new hide. She's outgrown her old one. Let's use the zoom instead of getting my hands too close. Always be safe when you work with these kinds of critters. Wow, poor cricket. It's going to get eaten ass first without being stung. So it's going to be alive for this whole thing. Yikes. Looking at little Tisa here. Let's see if she's hungry. As I promptly dropped the cricket I was going to give her. Okay, she was interested this week. I wonder what all that was last week. 
as you can see, she's stinging it right away. I mean, she always does. At least she let me let go with the tweezers first. Notice how much faster these die than the roaches. Here's our beautiful Hawaiian centipede. Who never lets me see her face when she's eating. Yeah, is that a good cricket? You're going to hide your face again. She always eats with her face underneath her. That's so funny. Oh, I'm going to throw a couple more crickets in here. But hey, at least we got her on camera this week. So to my great surprise, this new centipede is just sitting out in the open. Let's see if I can get her something good to eat. Yep, super easy catch. Let's grab a couple more here. These are kind of smallish crickets. She is a big girl. So we're not going after any of the others. We're just going to go over to the hide and enjoy a meal in peace, it looks like. Man, this is a beautiful centipede. I am so glad I stumbled across it. I see legs and antenna down there. So yeah, those other crickets aren't going to last too terribly long in here. a very difficult spider to get video of. This is one of my uh, Thai cave huntsmen. Fortunately, name is still pending. But we just molted. I think we're ready for another meal. Hey, ran off the camera, but at least came right back. Man, they're just such pretty little huntsmen. God, it's killing me that I can't tell you guys the name of these yet. I'm waiting for a buddy of mine to finish his uh, dissection of a female's ventral opening so I can have those photos for the paper uh, since my hand can't physically do the dissection, unfortunately. So once I get that in, this should be ready to publish and good to go. That's literally the only thing I'm waiting on. All right, you guys have seen my white spotted assassins before. And you've seen them take down Dubia. But you haven't seen them when I throw in 100 crickets. This is just as fun as the Dubia, if not more fun. Yeah, they are going to go absolutely apeshit now. Oh god, I can hear them squeaking. Let me do the zoom in so I don't have to watch my fingers. Because during a feeding frenzy, they will bite at everything. There's a bunch of little baby ones over here, hoping they get some of the baby crickets pretty easily. Oh boy, we're swimming. Shouldn't have put extra water in the water dish yet. I swear, I never get tired of my assassins. They're so much fun. You haven't bought your own yet, why not? Seriously, tell the vendors you guys want them. I want to start selling these to vendors. Get 
this little one out of the water. And watch my fingers, because that one just went from my tweezers. Looks like everybody's just about got something. This one doesn't. There we go. Did you get that one? I don't think I did. So yeah, lots of chaos. These guys kind of thrive on chaos. Let's see if we can get the reds on camera as good this week. I don't think we will, though. If you see the reds next, I got a good video. So these are the Horrid King Assassins, the really big red ones. You can see one of my adults right there. Showing off for the camera. All right, let's see what happens when I throw, I don't know, 50 or so crickets in here. Not as big as my other colony. Yeah, this should be good. Ugh, this water is so gross. I don't know how they make it this gross every time. I got a couple coming out back there. I think pretty much everyone else is inside these tubes. I'm going to be shy as fuck. I gave them way too good of a hide, it seems. Eh, they're happy. They're healthy. They're reproducing. That's all that matters. Again, Tell your favorite vendors you want assassin bugs. I am happy to supply them. I just want these guys to be more popular in the hobby. They're so fun. And these are my beautiful Brazilian red scorpions. All kinds of parthenogenic babies all over the place. And yeah, I know the babies need to eat. So I got some smaller crickets for them this week. Man, this new enclosure is holding a ton of humidity. Hope they're not sweltering too bad. Forgive me tapping on the phone there to get these crickets off. There we go. Let's see what this little baby does. Nope, it's just booking it. Cricket was a little too big. Got an adult and a baby down here. Well then, someone else stunned that one as it jumped away. And now that little baby gets to go to town. Good job, tiny little one. Man, these are cool little scorpions. See one of the bigger ones right there with a the cricket? Kind of upside down from this angle. Oh, there's another little baby catching a big cricket. Wonder if it's going to share with this other baby. Nope, other baby's just going into the hole. Another baby down there. I see stinging one. Yeah, they're having no trouble getting these. Too awesome. Another one down there.
forgive me keeping my distance from these guys here, but they are medically significant. I don't want any accidents. Where do you think you're going to take that, cutie? You can barely move it. And it's having such trouble moving it that it thinks it's fighting back and stung again. That's cute. Alrighty, we'll let these guys be and uh, check on them in a couple days, make sure they ate everything. So I'm just trying to draw back to these uh, boreal tarantula crib enclosures. God damn it. Um, went to go feed Kaya. Sorry, I'm still a little shaky. She's over here now. Um, she was down right here on the front opening. So I went and opened the top. As I was carrying the cricket over, it fell out of my tweezers. So I closed the lid. I pick up the cricket. And as I'm lifting the lid to go open it again, the jarring sensation from the magnets releasing spooked Kaya. She bolted straight up. In a panic, I went to go push the lid a little closer together. Magnets grabbed it, pulled it all the way down, caught two or three of her legs right up here. Um, she's only in it for a second, so I hope she isn't too hurt. She doesn't look like she's going to drop any of them. The, uh, the front set of legs. But I'm trying to get this spider ready to breed. I mean, I just paired her. You guys saw it in a couple videos earlier. Now I'm trying to get her to fatten up. Oh my god. Just scared the shit out of me. There's like no way to just lightly close this and like leave a little gap for an arm to fit through. Ah, oh, found a design flaw, I guess. Jesus Christ, that just scared the crap out of me. I hope she'll be okay. I don't like knowing one of my spiders got hurt. Alrighty, catching Kaya in that lid is uh, kind of freaked me out, made me a little shaky. My adrenaline's kind of on edge. I think I'm going to call it for tonight, uh, do the baby spiders tomorrow. Uh, along with the terrestrials, so you got that to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do in here today. Hope that's okay with you guys on the video. Just, uh, yeah, that was a little unnerving. Hope she's okay. I'm, I'm seriously concerned at the moment. Joy of uh, keeping fast pets sometimes. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one.